All right, it is go time. We are here with Brianna Perry. Yes, what up? Brianna, nine years old is when you started your 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 career, yeah. which seems crazy. And to keep it uh, going all this time, how does one do it? Oh man, I couldn't even give you like a straightforward answer. It's a lot, it's a lot, you know, because you're still finding out who you are as a person and you're having your, your growing pains. And then you're chasing this dream that like the average adult can't even, you know, stay consistent and stay mentally like stable <laughs> yeah. throughout it. So, I mean, just putting God first and then like staying really close to like my core, my family and just staying passionate about about the music. Like I still love it from like the, the same as the very first day I started. You loved it. And when you started, uh, Trina was involved at the beginning yes. stage. Is that someone that at this time you still consider like a yeah, mentor? Yeah, she's still like, she's still family and she's still going as well too. So I admire her, just her longevity in the game and how she's able to keep her head above water and stay consistent. And yeah, that's my girl. Like we still talk, hang out and all of that. Uh, now I want to talk about the album, which is super exciting for you. But before I do that, yeah. I want to say that we, and that would be the viewing audience, we got a chance to learn a lot about you. Three seasons of sisterhood so, yeah. of hip hop. Can you just tell me about that experience? Because the music that I've heard on the new album uh -huh. says, you know, one thing, a newer thing, a, you know, uh -huh. a reassert, re resurgence, is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I also saw so much of you being like authentic on that reality show. Yeah. Was that hard for you to do as an artist? You know what, it actually, it wasn't because I think um, compared to a lot of other shows that are on television right now, like I think they tried to make it as, as much about the music as they could. I mean, it's still reality TV at the end of the day, but I think they kept it close to, to home. And I was just able to open up, be myself. I don't have any sisters. And in, in the music world, I'm used to just being the only girl and being like the youngest. So I was surrounded with other females who had the same passion as me, same same path. And we just was able to connect on like a different level. So they were all like big sisters. I was the baby out of the group. So it was fun. M music is something that is extremely passionate to yourself. Yeah, like yeah. you said, uh, work with Trina, mm -hmm. uh, Missy Elliott also. Yes, legend, icon. Uh, what, what's that like? Because I feel like everybody looks up to Missy in a certain way. Working with her, she was really like, really forward and a lot of things um, and a lot of things she did. So I was able just to see how like she prepared for her tours and prepare for her tours and her concerts and her albums and just how create like I got to see a lot of her creative process from a, like a young age. So that was really a lot for me to take in. And I feel like she doesn't like uh, sugarcoat anything. I feel like she's a good uh, mentor. Like yeah. she really, get, like she won't let you, you know, come halfway with anything. Yeah, yeah, right? no, she's always, she's gonna always push the envelope. Yeah, she's gonna always push, push for greatness. And yeah. that's something I've always admired and loved about her. There you go. Uh, greatness, the album, we're gonna talk about it in just one second. Yes. Uh, before we do that, I wanna say you, uh, of course, doing reality TV, having cameras in your face, that's mm -hmm. not an easy thing, but you did it. Yeah. Did that spark an interest to do, uh, you know, TV and movies? <laughs> Yeah. You have a project coming up uh, as far as a movie. Can you explain a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I mean, I won't talk I won't talk too much, but I definitely have been working on some big screen stuff. And um, I, I can see myself there because I'm so comfortable. Like, I guess it's kind of like music to where you, you're creating this character and you, you know, you have to portray something. So do you have the, and a lot of artists have this, this is not a bad thing. I'm mm -hmm. actually shy myself. Do you have that shy bug where you're like a Janet Jackson? You're so shy as yeah. a person, maybe introspective, but when you are on stage, you come with it. That's yeah. what from from the music that your your management has been nice enough to let me listen to. Uh -huh. That's what I got out of you. I'm like, she's such a chill girl, but yo, the music. Oh <laughs> like yeah, you're, you're gonna let people know where to go. Yeah, and no, I, yeah, I'm I'm really chill. I think I'm a lot of people don't know that about me, but I'm really shy. Some people be like, no way. What? Because when I get on stage, it's like completely different. I, I was able to open up uh, for Beyonce on the on the run in Miami. And shout out to Khaled. I came out on his set and everybody was like, oh, well, are you nervous? And I went from like being in the back just to myself quiet to getting on that stage. And it was just like struts, everything. And right. so I was just, I don't know. Yeah. It's well, just, we all have different sides to us. Mm -hmm. um, the album is called Fortune Cookie. All right. What does that mean to you? I see. I see uh, uh, what that means to me, Fortune Cookie. But what yeah, does it so, mean to you? You know, the Fortune Cookie, after people, you know, get their meal, they get their Fortune Cookie and everybody gets a different message. So I felt like with my project, you know, people are going to get a message. 
but everybody might get something different, but depending on where they are in, the, in their life at the moment, but they definitely will get a message and something that they can take with them. We talked a bit yes. uh, off camera about like uh, idols or whatnot. My mm -hmm. idols are J-Lo, like I'm always a J-Lo. I love J-Lo. J-Lo, J-Lo, yeah, who are, your, who are your icons that you're looking at now? Doesn't even have to be people who do music, but see people who have been in this business, who you look up to and say, I like the way he or she, she cultivated moves. their career. Yeah, how Definitely, you know, J-Lo was at the top of my list. She's just a bad girl. And she dominates everything that she does. Beyonce, of course. Jay Z, of course. Um, hmm, Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. Could, Oprah could get involved too. As we wrap out here, um, there's so many people that are going to hear your music. Your Miami people, mm -hmm. your New York people, your LA people. Yes. Uh, what about those people just just in these places? You almost don't expect your music maybe to hit so hard. Like mm -hmm. oh, the people in Australia love it. People in the middle of America yes. love it. What do you say to them, or how thankful are you that people are eating up this experience? Yeah. It is called fortune cookie, and mm -hmm. people love it. Yeah. What does that feel like to you? No, it just it's a it's an amazing feeling that I'm just able to connect that I'm able to connect on some type of level. You know, music is like a universal language. No matter where you're from, where you at, how you look, like that's just something that we all can connect through through music. So to be able to have that gift where I'm able to create that, that connection and that experience, man, it's a blessing. I appreciate everybody who downloaded the project, everybody who's listening, everybody who's streaming, purchase everybody who's making snapchats playing the music i see i see it all and i love you and i thank you we almost need like a brianna perry challenge or something like that i think we I, do. I think it's gonna happen inevitably i think we do uh fortune cookie you've got a great chance to talk mm -hmm. with the fans on instagram yeah i did want to mention one last thing before we have you leave visuals are important now you mm -hmm. have really come with it with yeah. your style thank um, you as we're looking at your instagram it's just you're, you're ready to play like you are yeah. here to do the thing yes what what was that like and who were the influences there i mean there are parts of your visuals where i'm like oh little kim or uh -huh. like who was who was it or is this just brianna perry i think it's just brianna but of course like you have to salute the the people who've, who've come before you who've like set a standard and they set a bar but like i just I, love, I get inspired by so many different things and whether it's like a female artist or Giselle or like it just different, a model, it, it, whatever. I love fashion, I love music and when I'm able to like infuse the two, I'm in heaven. So when I get to do my glam, when I get to do my photo shoots and my video shoots and I'm able to just go crazy with the looks like. I'm really in my bag yeah. and I'm happy. I'm super excited for you. As I said, when I watched you on the reality mm -hmm. show, my favorite part was that you were a boss, as you Thank say, you. but Thank you me. also had a vulnerability. Like when things weren't going good, mm -hmm. you were going to work through them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Brianna Perry is here to stay. Fortune Cookie. Yes. I guess let them know they should buy it. and. Yes, Fortune Cookie available right now everywhere. iTunes, Google Play, Tidal, Spotify, however you listen to your music. Check it out. Follow me on Instagram at Brianna Perry. And I thank you so much for having me today. That's it. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so right. much. Thank you. Thank you.